Hello, in this video, I'm going to try to create, I'm going to create a new, a new Gmail, but I'm going to skip the telephone number, or I'm going to kind of force Gmail to bring the skip, okay? Most people complain they don't see a skip when they're trying to create this Gmail, okay? So I've already created like two Gmail. Actually, they're like, uh, they're like seven, five on my computer and two on my phone so far. I have Dev, I have uh, this Joseph. So we're going to try to create a new uh, Gmail, okay? And um, the existing videos on YouTube don't really tell you why sometimes this may work. So I'm going to tell you why sometimes Gmail may force you to put a number and how you can skip it, okay? So let me start from the beginning. Uh, let me go on my phone. And I'm going to look for my Gmail app, okay? Whatever your phone is, you're using, as long as you have a Gmail app, okay? So uh, make sure you have a Gmail app, all right? So I'm going to click on Gmail. So my Gmail is already active because it has several emails. By the way, if you need one of these emails I've created, you can ask me and I send you one or two. Hope, uh... okay, so when you go to the Gmail, you click on the top right icon, scroll down and click on add another account of course if your gmail is new you won't have any email so you just have add another account okay so let me click on add another account i'm going to click on google because i'm trying to create a, a gmail account uh, depending on your phone, my phone is asking me for the password for my phone, so I'll just put in my password for my phone. Okay. Um, now, the online, some of the online videos usually have something similar to what I'm going to do, but I'm going to tell you where they don't tell you if your phone doesn't allow you to skip the number, okay? So let's continue with this. So let me click on create account. Uh, for my personal use, okay, use that. Then I'm going to put the names, okay. I'm going to put the names of, uh, let me use, uh, let me use Henry. Last name is optional, but let me just kind of put something, okay. So let me click on next. So gender, I uh, was born... I was born in Feb. Let me put something like 22nd, 1980. Let me just use 1985. It's male. Well, you can just click whatever you want. Let me click on next. Are they going to suggest me the names? You can use Henry Smith or whatever. If you want your own, you can say, let me create mine. I'm going to name it Henry uh data data entry okay that is the email i want you know so you can or you can just choose from one of the ones above okay this one is taken in case i don't want to waste time let me just choose what they are telling me so let me go with the first one okay so password i'm going to come up with a, a serious password hashtag let me use uh, that. Okay, uh, let me try to hide some stuff from you guys. Okay, but of course I'm going to change this password. In case you need this email, you just have to leave me a comment. So let me use that. Okay, let me just click on next. And uh, this email is created. This is the eighth email actually I've created. And I'm going to tell you why on my computer, the skip was uh, was not... Actually, on the computer, they was forcing me to put the number after like uh, four accounts. So what I did is I changed to the phone. So I'm going to show, show you how I did it so that I forced Gmail to not ask me for the number, okay? So this is my... So Henry Smith is done. Let me click on next. Uh, let me read the terms and conditions of course no one reads the terms and conditions let me just agree okay um 
so most people most videos have a, a similar some of the videos have a similar steps like mine but guess what uh, some of you may try the same steps and you may realize like they don't have it they are bringing you the telephone option or they don't bring you the skip sorry they are not giving you the option to skip so they are forcing you to put the number the problem lies on your on your on your ip address and i'm going to show it to you why okay so my gmail is done let me just open the app let me just go back to the app okay and uh okay when i come here i think now i have even also henry smith here so i have a lot of emails i need to give these emails away okay you just text me your email and uh, they have to be like eight comments so i haven't given anyone any email so the first eight people i'll give them the emails okay so already have this email set up well so this is smith okay i can repeat the same procedure and i won't be asked for them for the for the number reason being is my ip address is clean now if your ip address is not clean you have issue create skipping the number let me show you what i mean by ip address let me go to let me go to a browser called uh, Firefox. Let me just go, go. You just say, what's my IP address? Sorry. You just say IP reputation. So if your IP reputation has a bad reputation, Google will not allow you to skip. So what you do, you try to, you try to restart your modem, okay? So if I go to IP reputation in Google, you look for a website called IP quality score. Okay, let me click on it. So when I click on it, it's going to show me like your IP address is this. So let me click on that, you know, that IP address here. So when I click on it, it's going to show me like my IP address is kind of low risk. Okay, so if your IP address is high risk, uh, Google will, uh, will not main disturb you in skipping the telephone number. So if, if here under fraud score, it shows your IP address is high. I think if it's more than like 50, you are not safe, okay? If it's more than 50, your IP address kind of have a bad reputation online for some reason, which I don't know. But what you do, you can restart. In my country, you can restart and then uh, the internet will be assigned a different IP address. Now, the problem is if you're using a cable, if you're, if you're, if you're at home and you're using a cable, internet your ip address doesn't change so that's why if your ip address have a bad reputation even if you try to change the even if you try to follow the steps you may have a problem unless you can restart and get a new ip address how do you get a new ip address you can restart your phone i'm using a, a phone data okay on my phone i have uh, internet so what i do i just restart my phone then when I restart my phone, my IP address changes. Okay, you don't have to be networking, but IP address is kind of like every computer have an IP address whenever you're connected to the internet. So IP address is given to you by your network provider, your, your ISP, your internet service provider, okay? So if you're in a public cafe, you may be a bit stuck because the cafe may have uh, one IP address. You can't tell them to restart. So you may have to do this maybe on your phone, using your data on your phone. You may try to restart the, your phone so that you can be assigned a number. In countries where you can't change the IP address, you may have to be stuck, okay? So that's where the problem may be. So, so that's what I realized. People were complaining like, hey, we are following these steps, similar steps, but I can't kind of create other gmails without having a number the problem is your ip address may have a bad reputation okay so make sure you check your ip reputation if it's bad try to restart your phone to be assigned a different ip address all right so if you see here it's low risk they are big they will never be asked for a telephone number if your ip address if your fraud score is above 50 and it's showing like high risk there are more chances that Google will force you to put a number because it thinks you're kind of going to make the world a bad place. You Maybe you are doing uh, 
something funny, you are sending bulk messages, whatever, you know. So, yeah, so the problem is with your IP address if you, these steps don't work, okay? Thank you for watching the video. You can leave me a review, and uh, for those eight people who need my emails, I can send you the emails for Joseph, Dave, uh, actually, uh, Henry, I don't need these emails, okay? I can give you these emails and you use them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.